Hey everyone! So today I'm going to be doing a video about La Period. I wanted to do a video about surviving your period because I'm a girl and a lot of the people who watch my videos are girls, I would say majority, and I wanted to help those of you out who are having a hard time with it. I know for myself sometimes it gets really overwhelming and gross and it's just like, ugh, oh, this is so awful. Basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to conceal those period pimples that you may get. I personally get them and it's just so annoying. I also want to show you guys a super comfy outfit which is what I'm wearing right now and this is the sort of thing I do wear when I have my period if I have like cramps or something like oh my goodness I'm not wearing button up pants like no. And I also wanted to show you guys some ways to kind of curve your cravings so you're not going absolutely nuts on the ice cream which I definitely have done that as well for my period I'm not gonna lie and I also decided to tell you guys about some myths and put an end to them so that you know what's really going on with your body and you're not freaking out over something that you don't really need to freak out about so let's get right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy so let's go as you guys can probably tell I got a good friend to show you guys Oh, and I actually have another little red one here too, but we'll just, I'll show you guys my method of concealing pimples. So first of all, I like to take lemonade concealer. This stuff is great. It's going to counter out any of that kind of ready-ness to it. So already we're looking better, like by miles. Moving on. Then what I like to do is take my other kind of concealer of choice. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I also like to use this on my acne because it does have pretty good coverage. Last, I'll apply the rest of my foundation over top, whatever that may be, and potentially using like a heavier foundation would be better um, if you have acne, but whatever, whatever you choose, it's up to you. So that's my basic way of concealing a pimple. Alright, so for the outfit, I really like to wear some looser clothing, so I'm wearing a bigger t-shirt and a kind of oversized cardigan just because it's more comfortable and loose and it doesn't squeeze me in any places I wouldn't want to be squeezed. And also I'm wearing just a light pair of leggings, which are super comfy. I often get some pretty crazy cravings when I have my period. One of them is for ice cream, and instead of doing that, I eat my favorite coconut milk vanilla yogurt. It tastes so delicious. It doesn't taste like ice cream, but it still has that same texture. I also get cravings for things that are super salty, and I love these sweet and spicy crunchy almonds. Um, they're amazing, and they definitely fit that craving, and they're way healthier. Plus they have protein, so that's good. And last, one of my favorite things is hummus. I don't know like what this would kind of what craving this would change, but hummus is so good with like celery, peppers, carrots, whatever. It's delicious. I showed you guys how to conceal your period pimples. I've shown you a comfortable, easy outfit. And I've also shown you how to curb your cravings, but now it's time for me to put an end to some period myths. And when I went through certain myths that I know of at least, and then I googled it, got some ideas, and I was so surprised by what some people don't know, but I know for sure that if I hadn't asked questions when I first got my period, I wouldn't know these things. So. Do not laugh at some of these things. A lot of people do do not know the answer to these things or do believe them, so let's put an end to that and so you guys all know what's going on with your bodies. That is completely false. Um, completely false. There's such thing as a tampon and you just stick it right on up there. I'm really good at doing these sorts of videos. I used to be a competitive swimmer and I still swam. And it was fine. That's also false. I don't think that it's possible for them to like smell something that's going on inside of you. No one knows what's going on inside your body. No one knows what's happening in your pants. Um, basically, it's all in your head. If you feel like everyone look is looking at you or something, 
check your feet, there might be a piece of toilet paper on it or something. Most of the time it's not going to be because they're looking at you because you have your period. Unless you tell everyone, which I think is weird, but whatever floats your boat. This is again really false. Unless your period is super heavy, this is like really not gonna happen. It doesn't happen in like a split second. It takes a while for something like that to happen. Like you have to be sitting in the same spot for like three hours for anything like that to happen. So that's also not true. The only way to lose your virginity is through sexual intercourse and yeah, that should not stop you from using a tampon and if your mom or something is hesitant about using a tampon, just say to her, you know what mom, it's summer, I want to wear a tampon because you know what, I want to go swimming and I don't want to miss out on everything. And you know what, stand up for your rights. That is basically the video, how to survive your period, I know. I, I hope I helped you guys, I hope I was able to give you some ideas and hopefully put an end to some of these crazy myths. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any more video requests or questions, leave them down below and I will get to them. Bye!